Hello, this is Ross Marquand. I'm here with Don. I want to say hi to Jimmy, Casey, Stephen from the Dead Truth Podcast. So guys, uh, so uh, I guess we're gonna kind of dive into Moses real quick. I want to know what's uh, how did y'all meet Moses for the first time, and how did that happen? And I want to know about the good things and kind of go from there. This picture that I'm sharing now, this was from about seven or eight years ago, and he was one of the first people that I met down in Sonoya or in that area. Like I had just, I don't know, we had been friends on Facebook and I had messaged him and was like, hey, you want to meet up and, you know, go grab lunch or something? And we, we met at Chick-fil-A, uh, hung out a little bit, super cool guy, made me feel more than welcome. I mean, it was kind of like my introduction into that world a little bit. I'm wanting to say it was maybe before I even met any of the other cast members at cons or anything like I, I wasn't meeting him as a cast member, though. I was I was meeting him, you know, kind of as a friend. But then again, I showed up with action figures in hand and, <laughs> uh, you know, prints and stuff like that. And he signed them all. He signed them all. I remember I, I gave him a little bit of cash just for doing it. And ever since then, I mean, it, we just, I don't know, every time I'd see him, you know, he's he's got such a positive energy. Mm-hmm. And just a really good guy. And I don't want to be sad about it. I don't think we should be sad about it. I mean, of course you need to be sad about it, but you need to celebrate his life because he, 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 I, his, his, him being with fans, he's, he's really good with fans. And I'm sure he made lots of differences. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know he did. Yeah. The first time I met Moses was at the camp. Um, I don't know if a lot of you know, I've never been to any big comic cons like me going to the pandemic is going to be the first one. So me going to the camp and meeting, even though they're just background actors, it was like meeting, you know, Daryl or Rick to mm-hmm. me, you know, mm-hmm. and he was so sweet and so kind, so humble, just like you all said. And it's just, I'm just, it's just, just a tragedy. I just hate it. Well, that's the thing too, is you know, Moses, he, he did a lot of stuff, man. He was he was the focus of a lot of things. He did the entertain he was on entertainment on, on the cover mm-hmm. of the magazine. I mean yeah, entertainment weekly, yeah. Uh, they use his oh. promo a lot, you know what I'm saying? That, Queen of he, the South. Yeah, yep. Queen of the South. Bunch of different he, he was in forty two the Jackie Robinson movie too. Yeah. Forty one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um so the first time I ever met Moses, um, we were trying to get people for uh, autograph signings down in Granville to get interest down there. So um, my ex-wife at the time was wanting to do, you know, figure out who people were. And I was doing research this before anybody started seeing walkers or anything. And we had met Travis Charpanti and he was on board with stuff. And the next person was Moses. Um, so I found his Facebook and I said, uh, Let's message this guy. And she goes, are you crazy? He don't want to come out here. I said, let's just try. <laughs> He's okay. Uh, so we, I messaged him. I said, hey, man, you want to come out? You can make you know, sign autographs and meet fans. And he's like, yeah, of course. And um, he come out there. And it was his very first signing. This is back in 2013. So I've known him for a long time, almost 10 years. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he, he was always – Extremely sweet. I remember. Uh, I, I remember uh, we were sitting up there one one day and just hanging out and shooting the breeze or whatever. And there would be fans coming up from everywhere. And he was always gracious. And I met. I'm, I, I knew his mama really well. Um, she works locally around here. And um, he was always just a generally good person from the start. He never changed. He never got a big head. He was Uh, always just, you know, his mom and his grandma, God bless her. Grandma was a trip from the get go. And (laughs) she's like, she goes, my baby's never going to change. And she always was all adamant about it. 
And that's one thing I can say about him. He had a good family. Mm-hmm. And I know that, you know, we might be a podcast on here, but I, I truly want to say, you know, we 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 send you know our respects out to the family and hope they do better and want you to know we all love Moses. Regardless of how this the whole thing ended, you know, it's he's part of this family and he always will be. I I met him a couple of years ago at uh, the camp. Um, I met him at the camp and then uh, later he wound up participating another camp. He wound up participating in one of my uh, survive the night events. And we got to talk in and, and uh, start becoming friends on Facebook and stuff and uh, chatting back and forth. And then um, I really didn't know him all that well. I mean, just talking back and forth on Facebook and stuff and um, uh, just getting ready for the event that we're doing um, was uh, most of the interactions I had with them. Um, but you know, we, we spent many, a, many a times chatting back and forth about, uh, you know, things that he's done and, and, uh, uh, he's just a great guy. Like he was giving me tips because he, you know, he knew that I was, uh, going into the acting field myself and he was giving me pointers and tips and, uh, he said he always had my back, you know, so. And I, I totally agree with what Wes was saying. Um, that that totally sounds like Moses. He was very uh, encouraging. The picture right there that I posted with him, you know, we just saw him uh, this past May at the camp. And uh, that's that's my wife and I. You know, we were just catching up with him. We we're so glad to run into him and just, just hear uh, what he's been doing. Um, I met him early, early on uh, around season three. Um and you know had the opportunity to get to know him early on then uh we actually interviewed him for our that that um uh documentary i was working on um and jimmy i know you and, and marlene had a lot of signings going on you know with travis and and, and moses early on and mm-hmm. uh, so you know i got to visit him and, and see him at those signings um but yeah man it's just crazy you know just not even a year ago, you know, things were going good. He, he said he was working on some projects, you know, and I always ask him, you know, what he's doing and, you know, if he could share, you know, what he's doing. But, you know, a lot of times he couldn't really say because the projects were uh, just getting started. You know, he can't spill the beans just yet. Uh, but he was he was happy to see us. He was just telling us about his new car he just got. Um, so totally bummed uh, to hear what happened and uh, definitely going to miss him. Um you know, like I said in my post, that dude was so humble. He was he was the nicest guy um, I'd met, especially through Walking Dead. And uh, he will definitely, definitely, definitely be missed. All right, so we got a caller. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi, Jody. How y'all doing? Good. I just want to say that Mo- Moses was one of the most amazing people ever. One that his smile was very contagious. Um, he knew how to bring you up when you were down. I've been friends with Moses for quite a few years on Facebook. I've got one of his old shirts. <laughs> mm-hmm. But um, I just want to tell my entire Walking Dead family that you know we all need to come together which we have i mean sorry through this but we all need to just support each other it goes to show you just never know never know you cut so many lives so many lives you have any special stories or anything you want to share with us i met him actually for the first time face to face at the camp this past year, this past May, and he was talking to me and my aunt. He wanted to come down to Florida with us and go hog, hog hunting with my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like him. He, he yeah. wanted, and he wanted to come down. Him and to say we're talking about coming down, <laughs> but but yeah, it, he just made that weekend so special. I mean, him and everybody else that was at the camp. It was just, it was a great weekend all together, and right. he's going to definitely be missed. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. All right. Well, Thank you. Good night. Thank you for calling. 
You guys have a great night. Thank you, you too. Thank you for calling. <laughs> yeah, Jody, Jody brings up a good point. You know, my feed is just flooded with his pictures, and yes. um, you know, a lot of my Walking Dead yeah. friends have updated their profile pics. So it's it's yeah. it just shows the impact that he had on everyone. You know, right. yeah. Hey, Carol, thanks for calling. Hey guys, I just wanted to call and just give you guys my love. I know this is so hard for a family. He has been such an impact on all of those of us who've met him, even those of us who didn't know him. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he had a big impact. And I just wanted to send you guys my love and let you know that you are all adored. Oh, appreciate it. Well, thank you, honey. We love you, Carol. And we feel the same way about all y'all, especially you, Carol. Yes. <laughs> I just wanted to share a story. Um, last uh gosh I don't know it was it was a while ago um my daughter we went to Chris Twelman's shop and my daughter Angel was able to meet Moses and when she met Moses she gave him a rose quartz crystal oh wow and you think that it's something minor but it had such an impact that the two of them had such a tight immediate connection that they became fast and furious friends <laughs> and Moses carried that crystal with him and even contacted us to let her know that he was carrying it with her with him and they had several conversations you know on Facebook and I just have to say that his he was such a when you met him you instantly connected with him. He was that kind of person. Definitely. And I just want people to see him in that light. You know what I'm saying? Yep. yep. And I'm just so grateful that we have that connection with the with a lot of us that are that are TWD family. I mean, whether we've met each other at the camp or other type of functions or um, like Stephen and I, we met at Nick and Norman's. You know, you just instantly connect with people. And I think that our family has that rare commodity that that's what we do. I just, I'm just so grateful that I have this family. And I, I just really wanted to just give you guys my love and just let you guys know that you're adored. I don't ever want anybody to feel like they're alone. So anyway, I know this is probably not the place to say that, but I don't know. I just no, feel like you're good. It you're is. Good. Good. So, it is. I can't wait to see you guys in March and we will get together and we will just celebrate our lives and we'll celebrate Moses's. Okay. Sounds awesome. Yeah, Sounds good. Hi guys. So this is Casey with the Canto. Normally after makes these calls, it's never me, but I, you know, he's just really struggling. You know, our uh, camp families had a rough week. Um, you know, we're, we've had a couple pretty big losses. Um, but what I want to say is thank you to all of you guys because we would have never known Moses if we didn't do the camp and we would never do the camp if it wasn't for you guys. And he brought so much positivity and happiness to everybody that he met, us included. Mm-hmm. Um, and we are going to do something to honor him. I know a lot of you have reached out to me. If you guys have ideas, you want to use the camp as a platform, shoot me a message. We're open to whatever, whatever anybody wants to do. You know, you guys are, our events open. So we have our March thing. We have May. In May, we're definitely going to do a memorial um, for him at our May event. But, you know, whatever you guys want, like we're here. But on behalf of us, we love all of you guys. We appreciate all of you guys. And, um, you know, our hearts are broken, much like everybody else. For sure. For Absolutely. Calling, yeah, thanks for calling. We love you, girl. Love we love you, Casey. Love, love you. Y'all. Tell Oscar we said hey. You guys too. Okay, you guys have a good night. Thank you, you too. too. Thanks for calling. Bye. All right, bye-bye. There was a picture that was shared. Uh, it looked like Regina was hugging up on uh, Moses. Mm-hmm. And that's definitely one thing I wanted to just say. Like, even right there. Yeah, just, yeah. That dude, he gave the best hugs. And, you know, so... Uh, we definitely, wife and I definitely got our hugs from him last May. So, um, you know, always had a smile on his face and was always giving out hugs. 
Well, you know, you know, the one thing I don't really talk about, but, you know, uh, Moses, had, he was like 300 something pounds when he was in school. Yeah. yeah. And he yeah. lost a lot of weight. And that, mm-hmm. that was part of what inspired me because I watched him do it. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he did it. Why couldn't I do it? So that's why I lost a lot of weight. I did, too. He was an inspiration to me. Um, you know, I, I didn't read his book, but there, he's got a book you can actually get how he actually talks about his journey through that. Mm-hmm. Um, real, real inspiration. He really yep. is. Everything he touched. Yep. But uh, for one thing is, you know, no matter what, you always felt loved around him. That's for sure. And he right. always gave great posts on his Facebook that was inspirational. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not only that, he was really just extremely good to fans, especially across seas or whatever. Like he would he'd get them to send him all, stuff to autograph and um, everything. I don't know the name of the book per se. I think he advertises on his Facebook page all the time. Um, I didn't. Yeah, I, I talked to Moses from time to time. We had we wasn't tight as we used to be. Unfortunately, um, I had my own life issues going on, and he you know had it, his little con tour going on. So. Yeah, I didn't get to see him. yeah, I seen his mother more than I seen Moses. I used to go to Walmart all the time, and she works at one of the Walmarts around here, and I used to see her. But I got to see her way more than I seen Moses. That's for sure. You guys know I'm not in the cons and all this stuff and that. Every time I got dragged to one of the cons, I'd go sit with Tache and Moses. Just hang out with them because they knew I hated it, and I called him Under the Dome. That was his nickname <laughs> I gave him. And every time I went to con, he'd have a chair there for me to sit with him because you knew I didn't want to be there. No way. Yeah, every time. <laughs> Everywhere I thought he had a chair for me. That's awesome. I'd go hang out with under the dome. I just, you know, after I met him that first time, we just kept running into each other at shows and stuff like that. And last time I saw him was, I don't think it was this last time that he was in, uh, in Abraham's Army, but the time before that. Mm-hmm. And I hadn't met the Shay at the time. That was the first time meeting him. And I remember walking away and hearing Moses telling the Shay that he loved my energy, my positive energy. And that made me feel so good. You know what I mean? Just to have right. somebody say that about me and not even know that I hurt him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that just goes to show the kind of person he was. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't trying to say anything negative as I was walking away. He was lifting, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Lifting it up. We used to have good times with him at signings. I remember one time we had a, a signing at Gwinnett. Uh, there's a minor league team called the Gwinnett Braves back in the day, and they're called the Stripers. But we uh, we had a signing up there with him one day, and I remember after we got done signing, they gave us like this little uh, luxury booth. We went up there and we were hanging out, and I looked over and Moses was over there. He goes, they, "It's an all you can eat buffet," and I'm like, "Okay." So I sat down with him, and I was eating and stuff, and. Tache walked through the door and he's over there. He goes, Where he said, Where's the food at? And Moses pointed behind him, of course, and he went over to eat and sit down with us. And we just kind of enjoyed the game together in that day. And it was a uh, real, real memorable. It's a lot of fun. But um, he was just honestly just sweet all the time. And you can't find that in people today. My name's Shay. Oh, hey, Shay. Hey, Shay. Hey, yeah. Hey, 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 hey uh, you guys. Um, I couldn't. I hesitated, but I gotta tell you, I'll make it really quick. Um, I got to go down to Abrams Army the last time that Moses was there with his hat on my teeth and the shay, and uh, it was the last trip for a while for me because I'd been having some messed up health issues, mm-hmm. and I knew I wasn't gonna get to go back for a while. But the love and the care. Not not for, just from Moses. I mean, all of them were. They were great, great, great guys. Um, great trip. Um, but just the genuine care and support and motivation that he gave me that day was, I mean, you really would have had to be there to feel that. It was unbelievable. I'm trying not to cry. So I'll make this quick. But it was really, I mean, you, tell me, you can't think like that. you got to think positive. And, and I'm usually that person. But what what he said that day was amazing and was true lot. Um, he lit that so much, you know. Mm-hmm. Yep, absolutely. And I couldn't not share anybody that uh, was around him has to know that because he carried that with him. Um, he was just a guy, and I'm so lucky to have got to go and meet him there. Mm-hmm. 
And that's my second story. Um, well, thanks for sharing that with yeah, us. Yeah. Thank you. It's very brave of you. Thank you. Yeah. It's nice to hear from you. Well, it, he uh, he deserves that. He deserves that recognition. My father. Right. He was definitely a motivational, good, guiding person, and good hugs, big smile. I mean, everybody there was great that day, though. So, um, that's my story. Thanks for listening to it, guys. No problem. Thank you. Oh, for thank you for calling in. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Thank, thank you, you, Shay. We miss you. Yep. All right. Miss y'all too. All right. I always remember sometimes the happiest people in life are the ones that live, live in the darkest. Okay. So no matter what you see in front of you, always take, you know, people's heart and always be good to everybody, regardless of how they are, unless they're just plain mean to you. And then you can adjust your temper beyond that. But we love everybody. Anybody got any closing things they want to say about Moses or anything? Just prayers to the family. Uh, everybody, like I said, I think he would want us all to celebrate, celebrate mm -hmm. what he's done, what, you know, the kind of, kind of person he was. And, you know, of course there's going to be sadness, but don't let that overcome the positivity he brought you. Uh, keep smiling, man. That's when I think of Moses, I think of smiling, just keep smiling. Um, you know, regardless of your background or, or whatever, we're all walking in family. We're all fans of the show. You know, we all, no matter what, right. Our, our likes or dislikes are, Walking Dead is what brought us together. So uh, Moses was definitely a, a champion for the show. Just just being a good dude. So keep it, keep the spirit alive. And I'm very moved by the calls we got of people yes. letting everybody yes. know yes. all of us are important. And it's the same way with us to you guys. Like it's, it's you know, you're important. You know, you might think things are going bad, but look at what, what was took, you know, this week from us. Like. Yep. You know, you, you just never know. Like I said, I'm just moved by everybody. It's just, this is the best family and they've included me just like I'm part of the own part of everybody. And I'm just overwhelmed. Like if I talk too much, I'm going to get teary eyed, but I have never been part of a family like this, that they just include everybody and they just make you feel like you've been there forever. Mm -hmm. And there's so much love and support and it's just, it's special. It special. Is. All right, guys. We love you all. Thank you to all thank our you. listeners. Thank y'all so much. Yes, love you guys. Thank you. Love thank you.